Welcome back to another Unturned video. Today I joined a modded server and we're going to do a ton of PvP and a really really good base raid. If you guys want more videos like these make sure to drop a like, let's try to reach 250 likes. You guys are reaching each like goal and I really appreciate it. Also 64% of you guys watching this video right now are not yet subscribed so I would really appreciate it if you hit that button and let's get straight into the video. Alright, and we're in the server now. I actually haven't played uh, modded in quite a while, actually. I did play on the server some time ago. From there, we did some PvP and some raid. We're back. I think the server wipe. I am completely naked. And the server is like 10 times load or 5 times load, something like that. But I guess mostly what we're going to do is PvP rather than anything else. We can have ourselves a pistol kit. This pistol is pretty bad, though. But obviously, we're gonna go to Seattle, maybe military. Hopefully, we'll get ourselves uh, some insane Rex to riches. I already got myself an Eagle Strike, got myself Night Vision, made myself a bunch of bandages as well that's a pretty good start now the eagle strike is actually a really op weapon for some reason i think it's even easier to manage than a maple strike so i'll probably stick around with that weapon for now well, somebody's actually shooting an eagle strike right now uh, i'm gonna guess that it's at melee all right and he is dead uh he is a solo okay perfect everybody else on the server is a duo so if we do get to kill one of them and that means that they have a body very close all right and he actually seems very geared yeah there is a there's a bunch of guns got a blowtorch as well that's very very good a bunch of weapons i actually have no idea which is good or which is bad i will take all of the raw though because eventually we might need them all right well we are already full of loot so probably taking over a base right now is our next step i don't really want to stick around military though so maybe we'll try to go either at like tuck home or paradise or those kind of areas so there's a vault also on the server i'm going to vault extra weapons in case we do get killed we would always have backup weapons i'm gonna place all of the grenades all of the raw as well now it looks like we actually probably found ourselves a base to take over now there is a wooden door over here but from this doorway we can actually make our own door basically put a door right over there and this right here is ours now we're gonna make a bed we're gonna make ourselves a bunch of more crates well, actually there is a bed kit so we could just place that right over there place ourselves all of the extra guns in here as well we've got ourselves a chainsaw we can just just go and get ourselves a bunch of logs and make them all into crate. Well, somebody is shooting some silenced gun in paradise. I'm gonna go over there and try to eliminate him. Starting to rain as well, which could be a good thing because he can't see us. He doesn't know about us, but we do know about him. I don't know if his gun is like an OP special gun or something. Oh, there he is. I see him. All right, he's dead. He was literally standing still. All right, we gotta go in. All right, let's go up the tower and then jump down. Yeah, he does have a lot of loot by the looks of it. Yeah, actually. All right, well, he has a better backpack for sure. I think that's even better than an Elise pack. Another night vision, some drums, devil's banamos, pool of wire. That's really good. A PDW. Oh, yeah, we didn't leave anything important. All right, that was actually really, really good. Time to get ourselves a bunch of logs in order to start making ourselves some crates. All right, got ourselves three crates for now. Pretty good. We also made ourselves a locker so we could actually store ourselves the good stuff in there. We're wearing a lesser good backpack so that if we die, we wouldn't lose it and we'll just run around with some random backpack. We'll put the chainsaw in here as well. Put all of these extra ammo and now we'll go back out there, loot. And well, it looks like we actually found an unrated base. Tank and a Ural, okay. Probably are the most geared on the server. Perhaps even an admin or something because you can apparently buy ranks on the server. All right, yeah, we'll return to this raid hopefully later on if we get ourselves some raiding gear a lot of shots happening over at seattle we're gonna go over there maybe we'll get to kill them oh there he is all right he's dead i was pretty sure this guy was going to be on top of the building actually but yeah he has a bunch of loot i have no idea what any of this is i'm just going to pick them up now we could actually go back i have a lot of loot on me so let's just go depot down i don't know if this gun is oh well there he was right there all right, well he might be a bit mad now but i don't really care because i got i got some okay loot we got an umbrella as well yeah this backpack is much better actually got myself a bunch of lockers as well now i don't have to use crates anymore all right there we go we got a couple again all right, he's dead. I'm hoping for a detonator more than anything. Let's just get rid of these zombies first. Uh, no detto. Okay. All right, he's dead. Like he had the ego strike or explosive. Nothing that good though. Basically, what I'm doing is I'm going from heritage to military to Seattle. I need to get myself a detonator more than anything right now. Either that or rocket launcher. There's a guy up there. All right, he's dead. He's dead. This guy was just chilling on top of a tank for some reason. He didn't even lock it. Let me lock it, actually. Uh, eagle fire, a bunch of random ammo, some grenades, actually. That's pretty good. This guy really should have locked that tank, because now I have my own tank. I have a missile back in base, so if I ever need it, it'll just come back for it, unless somebody else takes it. Well, it looks like another mega spawned, finally. And he is dead. Let's go. Let's hope for a detonator this time. All right. And he dropped a grenade launcher, a bunch of more grenades. All right, no detonator, though. I'm disappointed, and my day is ruined. Oh, rocket launcher. 
All right, there we go. We got our first raiding weapon. Right, let me go up and actually vault it first before I get sniped from a 7,000 meter range sniper. Since we got ourselves a rocket launcher, next we're going to do is just craft as much rockets as possible. We're gonna require at least three rocks plus a V. So it's going to take us quite a ton. And then after that, after we do manage to get ourselves around like five plus rockets, we'll go hit up that tray that we found earlier. Well, luckily it actually just turned the full moon. So I'm gonna farm as much rock explosives as possible. Oh, well, I am dead. Did he really just say, thanks for a load? Bro, calm down. I'm coming right back. There you go. He's dead. Thanks for a load. All right, so this guy pretty much had... Oh, yeah. That's all of my load and probably... And the fully decked out the back, though. All right, he's dead. Yeah, it is the same guy. All right, we are back in base. Crafted myself four rockets. Had one already from before. Now we can pretty much go and raid. I think in order to actually make more, I just need glow. Glow isn't really that much of a problem to actually get. We have made ourselves a bunch of extra lockers so that when we are raiding and we get ourselves some good loot, we actually have space to store them in. And now we are going to go back. We're going to go and we have a bunch of rockets. Going to completely annihilate this base. Actually going to place a bed here very close to the raid. And Nicole is going to have a bed inside our base. So that way if we need to go back to the base, we can and just teleport to her bed wait there's a sentry and apparently there are sentries now i don't know how there's a sentry because earlier there wasn't so the owners must be online or something like that kind of scary we might have to raid this online but i'm probably just going to rain rockets inside there so that sentry actually has a dragon fang i'm gonna get myself like two grenades should be more than enough to actually get that dragon fang easily i still gotta be careful that the owner isn't actually online though all right that grenade actually did hit it yeah, we got ourselves a dragon thing. Let's go. I'm gonna put the dragon thing in there, actually. I'm gonna take all of the rockets out. And we are going to completely annihilate this base. Alright, first rocket. Alright, we are ready through. There's actually a lot of loads. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> yeah, I pretty much used all of the rockets, though. I think I only have one left. Let's put the rocket launcher back in. Yep, Dragon Fang, Grizzly, Dragon Fang ammo. A bunch of random guns. I don't even know what they are. This Dragon Fang was empty though, but that's okay. More Dragon Fang ammo, Devil's Bane. There's a grenade launcher as well. There's a modded rocket launcher. So much raw, so much PvP guns, so much Dragon Fang ammo. This is actually an insane base raid. There's, oh, there's another sentry in there. That's all right. I gotta get myself two grenades. There's even more wardrobes up there. I didn't even see those. All right, two grenades. Let me pick up the rest of my load that I had before I died. All right, we'll throw a grenade right in there all right and it broke now we should probably start trading really quickly before people actually come here there's nobody in this base though i really thought that it's going to be live okay that rocket is actually kind of op up here there are a bunch of random junk some raw some grenades there's another dragon fang over here and over here timber wolves metamorises dragon fang ammo there's a grizzly in there let's turn that, that generator off before we continue, we're actually going to make ourselves a bunch of lockers back in our base because we don't have enough storage. So we're gonna be fast before everything despawns, store everything, and then continue raid. Somebody is shooting Peacemaker very close to our base. Now we should go kill him actually so that he doesn't figure out where we live somehow. Alright, and he is dead. Yeah, this guy is a solo. Alright, let's go check out what loot he had. A bunch of random PvP guns, nothing too special though. Alright, first locker broken, second one as well. Oh yeah, loot's flying everywhere. Alright, we just put a full Dragon Fang box. And looks like some PvP guns, a bunch of dressings. Most of these guns, I actually have no idea what's good or what's bad. And looks like some raw Dragon Fang box, that's pretty good. Another Dragon Fang box. Alright, well a scaler. Down here, there's some attachments mostly. Alright, in this one, there were some more Devil's Bane ammo, a FAMAS. Right, this one has a steely and some OP sniper, I think. Now we're obviously going to get as much metal as possible in order to make them into lockers back in base. More PvP guns. A bunch of more PvP guns. Yeah, I'm completely out of storage again. So we should probably go back and make more. Well, I think somebody is raiding very close to our base. We're gonna drop everything and we're gonna go try to counter him. The loot shouldn't despawn by the time we're back if everything goes well. If we do get killed, we just won't try to counter so our loot doesn't despawn. But there is actually a base very close to here which I know is unraided. And I think it's actually getting raided right now. Alright, so this is the raid. Yeah, he's in there. I hear him reload. Alright, he's dead. Yeah, there's actually doesn't have anything good actually. It's just a maxim. It's kind of weird. Alright, well, at least we did get another raiding weapon. 
All right, there are people back We're just making lockers, but oh, we should go and check out what's going on. We still have a lot of stuff that we have to store before it actually despawns. So we're going to do that first. We're going to prioritize. Well, the same guy is back, I think. He's raiding with a dragon fang now. We're going to go try to counter him. We did place all of our loot in our base, so nothing could despawn. Well, he actually salvaged the stairs or broke it or something. There's a missing window, so maybe we could jump through that. But a naked guy is going inside. I don't know what's going on. That guy's hiding in there. Oh, he jumped off. Ah, oh, he's dead. Let's kill this naked as well. All right, no dragon thing though. I think he vaulted it again. All right, well, we're gonna try to go in. He did break the stairs, so he can't go in anyway. We're gonna go in, and then we'll break the plates so that he can't come in through the window anyway. Let's destroy that bed, because that could be his. I'm dead from a shotgun. Look at this dude. He's dead. It's not the same guy that was raiding this base. It was just random. I'm pretty sure that the guy that was raiding this base is gonna come back. So we gotta get there really quickly. And we are in. Let's go. We could continue try to raid this before he comes back and continues raid it. Now we're gonna break all of these plates so that nobody can actually counter us. Alright, and we are through. Yeah, this is what he pretty much raided. Oh, and it's empty, of course. Oh, they're both empty. Alright. Alright, he's dead. PTW versus Scaler, and Scaler came out victorious. He has a Grizzly, a bunch of high kill. Alright, well, this guy was pretty good. Thank you. Well, alright, everybody, that's going to be it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed. If you guys want more videos like these, make sure to drop a like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!